Yo, what is poppin' people of the internet? This is live from Vegas. And today I'm gonna be breaking down my top five ranked tips for Halo Infinite. I'm only three ranks away from Onyx. I'm in like Diamond 3. And I've only solo queued, so... I know what I'm talking about just a little bit, just a little bit. So let's kick it off with the number one tip. And that's there is no headshot damage, no headshot multiplier when their armor is up. About 50% of people know this, 50% don't. I'm gonna explain why it's important in a second, but yes. If you're shooting them on the head while they're full health, it is the same as a body. There is no headshot damage while they have full shield. It's only once their shield is cracked that you can get full headshot damage. So, the reason this is a very relevant tip is you really should aim for the body. I know it seems kind of backwards, you know, but if I were you, I would really, really aim for the body, especially if you're using the sidekick pistol or the battle rifle till their shields are broke, just because you really want to hit center mass, you know? If you're aiming at their head only, while that's a good thing, there's obviously a lot higher chance that you're gonna miss like half your mag. So if I were you, I would just straight up keep it on the body. Just hit fire most of the time. You don't even really need to aim in this game. Just hit fire straight to the body and don't worry about shooting heads until it's like literally the final burst or like the final couple bullets. You can tell pretty easily when their shield's cracked. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is I highly recommend that you play some warm-up games. This is something that I've done in every single ranked game I've ever played. Apex, Overwatch, you name it. You need to play some warm-up games. You can't just jump on the sticks and hit heads and have god reaction time right away. It doesn't work like that. I usually warm up with like, number one, I usually do at least two or three, but three warm-up games is pretty much the sweet spot. You should be dialed in on your aim by that point and just saucing on the controls. So definitely I recommend warm-up games. Otherwise you might just jump into a rank game right away, miss all your shots and take a loss. Another pro tip too, should have put this one at the beginning. This is what I've been doing. Put your mic on open mic if you're playing solo queue and just give the call outs you can. Just say when people are half health, if the flag carrier, oddball carrier is low. There's just a few little call outs you can give here and there that can make your team absolutely huge plays. So I would recommend open mic. And I would also recommend changing your button scheme. For me, I change my right bumper off my ability on my controller to ping, ping on right bumper, just like Apex. I think the ping is absolutely huge in this game, especially if you're not using a microphone. So use the ping system. You can ping weapons on the wall, on the floor. It says the name. If you ping on an enemy directly, it says how many enemies are in that area and the call out. So it'll say like four enemies in courtyard absolutely huge your teammates will know right where to run to so pings and comms definitely major now that we're through like half the tips i want to take a quick second to say please go check out my other halo infinite videos i've been dropping like four a day so just check the channel there's tons of content and i've been dropping my map mentor series which is where i break down every single weapon item spawn and angle on ranked maps we're already two episodes deep so look for link in the description annotation on screen right now in the top right i'm just going to start spouting out some general tips honestly at this point one of them being if you're playing solo queue like i am i would just stick to your teammates hips in this game it is almost impossible to win a 1v2 there's just too much health involved. If you're just running beside your teammate, there's pretty much no way you can lose. And that's the same, you'll, in higher ranks, you'll notice your enemies doing this. They're holding hands like three at a time. You never run into them unless they're three stacked on the oddball. So I would highly recommend if you spawn, because of the 10 second spawn delay, your team might be nowhere near you. So as soon as you spawn, look around and run to like your nearest teammate or two and just stick to their hip. If you're playing solo queue just play off your teammates that is the biggest thing you can do if you're alone and it's way easier in this game than any other game because the health is so much you guys can just cover each other's backs and you should be winning like every single engagement next up this tips a little bit more obvious but the only weapon in ranked is the battle rifle there's no sidekick secondary there's no assault rifle fully auto so just master the battle rifle. That is the main thing you can do to improve your ranked game. At the end of the day, all you got is this BR. So 
So work on your battle rifle. If you need to do the training grounds, play against bots, you know, just to grab it some more times. Do whatever you gotta do. But grinding pubs all day and grinding on the basic assault rifle doesn't really help you at all for ranked, because that assault rifle basically doesn't exist. So I would just master your battle rifle. And a tip I guess I'm gonna include kind of in that is master your punches. The punch is the strongest weapon in Halo Infinite. Don't even worry about shooting your enemies, just punch, 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 punch. It does like 150 damage a punch, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a little bit less, but it definitely does more than 100. It is outrageous. So I would recommend having a very good button scheme for punching. And I would recommend just having your finger on the trigger because people get really close. These rank maps are very small. The Aquarius is super small. This map, there's like four or five tiny rank maps. So punching is huge. Plus there's not really any close range weapons in this game. So if everyone's just hit firing with battle rifles, the punch kind of wins in close range every single time. And I think that's pretty much all I want to say. So this has been Live From Vegas. Subscribe for more ranked gameplay. We're about to hit a thousand subs. Might already have since the time this posted. So I love everybody that's watching the videos. Keep up the good work and I'll do the same. This has been Live From Vegas. I'll see you guys online. Peace.